What's good, everybody? Sure, Shuni Selector Hype Live and Direct TV Sound System. You know what to do. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's been a long time. You'd like I always say, my videos are always few and far apart. But when we come, we come correct. And we're coming again with a book review. The big man himself, Ricky Trooper, has released his book. Let's talk about it. Garfield McCoy, a.k.a. Ricky Trooper, from Sound Trooper, originally from the Kilimanjaro Sound, has finally came out with his long-awaited book. This book I have in my hand right now, The Life and Legacy of Ricky Trooper, The Sound Boy Killer. Now, this book has been about out for a while now, around about six, eight months, could be a little bit longer, and I didn't get a chance to do a review, but now we are doing the book review, The Legacy, The Life of Ricky Trooper. Along with the introduction, there are seven chapters of him telling you, breaking it down, what it's like being Ricky Trooper. Now, when this book came out, I was super excited. The Sound Clash fans then were excited. The Sound System fraternity were excited when Ricky Trooper decided to come out with the book. Now, I pre-ordered mine, got my copy, sat down, I read it, but time is one of those things that is always against everybody, so I didn't get the chance to do a review, but right now, time is a master, nothing happens before it's time, so let's break down, and give, let me give you my verdict on the book itself. Alongside the introduction, there is also seven chapters of Ricky Trooper stating his rise from a young boy in Jamaica to the big stage of sound system culture. Now, what surprised me about the book when the book arrived was the thickness of it. Now, Ricky Trooper has got a story to tell. His story is absolutely massive. So, I'm looking on the book, I went straight to the back. 170 pages. I was like, 170 pages? Ricky Trooper telling his whole life story in 170 pages? Nah, something's wrong. And as an avid book fan, I am somebody that reads books all the time. 170 pages for me, man will read that in a day. And that's exactly what I did. I read this book in one day and what a phenomenal book it is. And I'm going to break it down to you, one of the reasons why it is. This book to me is a, a very small chapter of Ricky Trooper's career. And I think what he's been able to do is manage to put so much in a very short book, but it looks like we could expect more books, more chapters and more situations on Ricky Trooper's career. Now, if you know Ricky Trooper and you've seen him on social media, he can get really emotional. He can get really active on social media. You know, when he came out with the put it on YouTube. Saying the blood clot, don't know. I'm not done enough. My heart full, I'm earth strong, I'm nice, I'm a dad lant, I'm a drink and junk. And you've seen various situations where he's just chilling out on the ends and he's talking to sound man and we've got the local video camera and he's explaining a certain clash that he's been in or a certain situation that he's been in and it's all fun and laughter and it's very hardcore, it's very to the point, it's very passionate. Oh, we wanna. And when one said, yo, let me tell you, the man in our place, and fast and the dog, it, it, it turned to become the green light. You know? yeah. And when you record that, this way, you know. And the man said, if we burn yeah, this call, hear your name. <laughs> and this is me. Boom! <laughs> come, come, come! Fuck him, fuck him, fuck him, fuck him! <laughs> boom, boom! I'm in the panic box in the dog, and I said, boom, fuck him, what is this? Watching every move, that no beast, no, in a blood clot, so no. I tap in a low and I run it up. Oh, bump, 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 bump. I know that attacks. And he dance the pot. Hey, hey. And I saw the blood clot. I mean, boom, and I said, yo. And he boom, and I take time, I calm down. Yes, when blood clot, we want to say, Ken, just at me. I went keep a key to talk in them and say, Put your son, blood clad, put your come in. I put a say, Why did the man have this nice sound? Yo, the man up here half hour, and I stand up here for 25 minutes. This book does exactly that 
but in a different way. The way how this book is put together, the words, the concept, the passion you can hear in this book from Ricky Trooper is phenomenal. It all starts off from the beginning, the very, very first start of his career, playing and doing sound system. It talks about his early days where he was listening to Salman from around the way and he wasn't getting the opportunity to go around there. Um, and then he linked up with the sound man, went around there and then started to just literally study and listen to all the wise words that the teachers them, the elders then were telling him. I'm not going to give you too much away. You need to get the book. But one of my favorite parts of the book is the poem that Ricky Trooper wrote for his mother, Wow, that is super deep. Another favorite part of the book for me, and I think it's probably the most favorite part of the book, is when he breaks down the legendary Kilimanjaro and King Adi's clash that took place over there in Portmore. We still talk about that clash to this present day, but the way how Trooper kind of uses the book and uses certain language to explain how much effort, how much time, all the behind scenes what took place to make that clash happen, which pff, it nearly never happened. You got to get the book if you're a fan of King Addis, big fan of Ricky Trooper, Kilimanjaro, and that big clash that took place over there in Portmore. And what else makes this book very special is towards the end where he's guiding the new artists them and talking about reggae music and how to fix it. Again, it is a very, very intellectual read and it's something that I would advise, especially all of you, you new artists um, coming out right about now to take a look and take a leaf out of what Ricky Trooper is saying. So like I was saying, he, he talks about reggae music. He talks about the artist them. He also talks about his situation with Sound Trooper, how that came about and where it's heading right now. So people, the thing about this book and why I can't go so deep into it is because is the reason it's only 170 pages. So if I go really, really deep into it, I'll start telling you what the whole book is about and you don't want to go and get it. You need to go and purchase a book. It's 170 pages. It's not long, but it is an absolute great read. And what I would like to see Trooper do with this book, it's like one chapter of his whole career. And I've read books of other autobiographies of other people and whether they're an artist or an actor or a rock star, they always give us one autobiography and kind of that's it. Trooper's just given us a very small part of it. I think he could do another 170, 80 book about Linky with Garnet Silk and the Luciana situation. He didn't say that much in the book here, but there was a little bit on there, but he could. He could do another book where he could just be talking about Kilimanjaro, Base Odyssey, rivalry and do another 170 page book the way how he's put this book together is absolutely brilliant and i do not expect this to be the last and final book from ricky trooper i think he could go on and continue doing series and series upon series on different aspects of his career in the sound system culture along with all the literature that's in the book there is also some great photographs in there throughout the book that capture the moments of the man himself ricky trooper Cause says the legend it's a mad one you need to go and get the book shall i reach out to all those who have purchased their book already i know that i've seen it, i've seen it being thrown around on social media everybody's got their copy yeah man me get my copy me get my copy but nobody's not really done a, a, a review on it and this is not technically a review this is one just as bigging up ricky trooper sound trooper for the legacy and what he's done and be able to put together a book this is the second book review that i've done regarding sound system culture and a sound man on the levels of such a ricky trooper and all i can say massive is it is a, it's a fantastic read please go and get and copy the book get it as soon as possible it's been out for a while now so you should have already had your copy if you're watching this now and still don't have your copy trust me you're going to want to need to get this is there any downsides towards the book no at first i thought there was when i said you know what 170 pages is not long enough it's not long enough it's just the tip of the iceberg it makes you want to read more trooper if you watch this you know what you gotta do we need we need a whole series this this book's gotta be coming like harry potter we need like seven or eight different versions and it just continues and continues and continues and again maybe 
an audio book would be a cool look as well because again not everybody on on out there right now is book friendly some people just want to hear a little podcast vibe or audio book version so maybe an audio book version would be a good thing me personally i'm not into audio books i like to have the physical thing in my hand where i can read and you know fold a piece of paper and put my bookmark in there and all them kind of things there but like i said massive this is just selector hype tv sound system like i said i haven't been here for a while so i thought you know what to get back into the groove let me just catch up on a couple of things the man himself garfield mccoy the life and legacy of ricky trooper the book go out and get it now and before we alley here I have to say, big up yourself, Ricky Trooper, and all the family who, unfortunately, Ricky Trooper, I'm sure we all know, sadly lost his daughter earlier this year. Our condolences are always going out to you from all the sound system fraternity, TV sound system, selector hype, all my subscribers, and everybody in the sound clash and sound system fraternity. And there it is, massive. The life and legacy of the man himself, Ricky Trooper. We need a part two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts of this book. Like I says, please, please go out there and support. Get yourself a copy. Even if you don't even read too much, you know, just go out, grab yourself a copy, put it on your bookshelf, put it on the side table, and I guarantee you, if anybody sees or comes and picks it up, it's gonna create conversation. And that's what we need right about now, especially in the sound system industry. Select a hype TV sound system, remember. Remember, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.